what's going on gamers? Today, we're going to be going over how to add a whitelist to your Ark Survival Evolved Apex server. Before we hop into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload just like this one. When you're hosting an Ark Survival Evolved server, any player is able to join by default. However, there's probably going to be a time when you wish to limit which players are able to join. This can be helpful for only your friends to join or if you want to perform server maintenance without anybody hopping on the server. Trying to enable a whitelist can be troublesome, so here at Apex Hosting, we've created this guide to ease you through the process and set a whitelist on your ARC Survival Evolved server. To get started, you're going to need to prepare a server. So go ahead and head to your server panel. From here, go ahead and stop your server. And once your server is fully offline and has come to a full stop, go ahead and click on customizations to the left hand side of the server page. And here, Locate the whitelist setting towards the bottom of the page and make sure that you have a blue check in the box. And now you're ready to proceed. Adding players to your server is also super easy. The first thing you're going to want to do is head to your main server page and then click on your FTP file access on the left hand side of the page and put in your info. Once you are logged in, go ahead and find your shooter game folder and click into it. And then head into binaries. Now click into Linux. In this folder, go ahead and locate or create a file named players, exclusive, join, list, dot txt. If you don't have this file, you are going to have to make it, but it's super easy to do. Just click on create new file on the left hand side of the page and once this page opens up, go ahead and in the new file thing, go ahead and enter the name of the file that we just talked about. Players capital P, exclusive capital E, join capital J, list capital L, dot txt. Try saying that three times fast. Now, you can just go ahead and click on save. This is going to make the file you need to enter the players into. So just click on back. Once it is saved, of course, and to the right of the file, there's going to be an edit button, which from there, you can go ahead and just paste in the names of the players you'd like to add. Now, go ahead and use steamid.io, which of course is going to be linked in the description of this video and make sure to copy the Steam ID 64 for each player that you're going to add to your server, of course. And then go ahead and head back to that text file and paste in as individual lines the Steam ID 64s of the players you'd like to add to your server. Then once you've added them in, just click on save. And now click on the name of your server at the top of the page. Now restart or start your server to get it up and running and it should start with a whitelist allowing only specific players to join one common issue that you might run into is the whitelist just not working now there's a lot of reasons why this might occur during the setup but the first one is just to make sure that your whitelist is properly checked at the beginning of this process Otherwise, just make sure that you restart your server after you add players in because this is going to give the whitelist time to load properly. The next issue is just not being able to join after enabling the whitelist. Oftentimes, this is just because your Steam ID was not properly added to the text file. Go ahead and make sure to use the steamid.io website and get the accurate Steam ID 64 for each player you'd like to add. Managing your server can be a little bit confusing at times. You may not even know all the cool stuff you can do. So that's why we're here to show you easy stuff like adding in whitelists and so much more. 
Make sure to check out all of our tutorials just like this one. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.